Well, with harvest season wrapping up, with the exception of sugarcane, that means it's another season in Louisiana. Not hurricane season, that's almost over. It's corn May season, and there is no shortage of places to go in Louisiana to get in on the fun. From Dixie Mays Farms north of Shreveport to the Mays at the Botanical Gardens at Burden in the heart of Baton Rouge. You could also travel to St. Helena Parish to find the Cajun Country Corn Maze. This week, Twilight's Jennifer Finley traveled with a Baton Rouge school group out to the country to take a stroll through Old McDonald's Farm. My name is Old McDonald. Have you heard of that fella? I'm him. This is Cajun Country Corn Maze. We offer an experience and a learning experience for field trips and schools. We hope we can help you connect with where food comes from. All food comes from the farm. I'm an old corn farmer, raised corn for 30 years. This is a corn plant. And in Louisiana, farmers will plant corn in the end of February, all the month of March and into April. We noticed that the young today don't have a clue where food comes from. And so we're trying to help them connect with where food comes from. Now the corn is native to the Americas. They did not have it in Europe years ago. The Indians and the Incas were the first ones to figure out corn. A lot of you eat corn for breakfast and you may not realize it. How many of you like grits for breakfast? Grits are made from corn. How many people like Doritos? Doritos are made from corn. We have animals, farm animals for them to see and touch and pet. Plus the corn maze. And going through the maze and trying to figure your way through. We're at Pine Grove, we're on Highway 16. We want you to come and see us. We'll make you smile and hop around like a cricket. That ride looks like it would be fun, but it would probably leave me feeling just a little <laughs> queasy. Now to learn more about the Cajun Country Corn Maze, head over to our website at twilatv.org. Still to come on Twyla, if you know someone in ag who deserves to be recognized, we'll tell you how to make that happen. But first, cotton harvest is almost done in Louisiana. We'll get the story from LSU. Stay with us.